to my channel this is gonna be my first video in 2018 and I'm very excited because um, it's a new year and I'm starting off this year with this video which is gonna be my review of my favorite products in 2017 there are a few that I just started using but yes yeah, so I'm going to stop talking and jump into this video so the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is my lip products and I'm just excited to show you guys. I don't have a lot because I try to really narrow it down to the things that I really, really use like basically every day. So the first thing that I'm going to start off with is my um, lip balm. The US lip balm really works for me and there are people that said that um, the US lip balm doesn't work. But I don't know why. Like It works on my lips and I find it really moisturizing. My goal for 2018 would probably have to be try a new lip balm. Um, I've been using this for more than like three years and I don't know. It always worked. So, so I just keep going back to it and I love it. So the next thing that I'm going to show you guys are some of my favorite liquid lipsticks because that's all I use. I only use liquid lipsticks and the matte liquid lipsticks. My signature like go-to liquid lipstick would have to be the ColourPop Midi. Um, and it's like a very like light color and it might be crazy on your lips but I just think that it works for my lips and I just love this color. It's like my go-to signature look and I actually have a backup of it because um, I finished like a bottle already and this is my second tube but yeah and then the next is like more of a category and it's gonna be the Kylie um, matte liquid lipsticks my favorites are Malibu and I recently got Malibu it's like it looks a little bit like brown but yeah it's, it's like not very brown but I don't know, like a mauve brown? I don't know. But I like this one. And then the next one I have is Candy K. And this one is a little bit more, like a little bit darker than what I like. But it makes my lips look bigger. So I like that. And then the last favorite one is Coco K. And I also recently got this um, a couple months ago. And I love this. But I also love like Dolce K. And... Yeah, I've been loving that one, so I just like the Kylie Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I find all of these like very comfy on the lips. So the next category that I'm going to share with you guys is going to be primers. And I have two, and they're both in uh, sample size because they're, well, one is kind of expensive. But I've been testing out a lot of primers this um, the past year so I really think that I have found my favorite primers but like I just want to keep trying primers that's why I don't want to buy the full size because I never really thought that primers worked on my face until I tried out some of these primers that I'm about to share with you guys so yeah so the first one is going to be the Becca um, backlight priming filter I really like this uh, it makes my face look very smooth and I don't know like the foundation on my face is very pretty and I just love it and my favorite like all-time primer would have to be the hourglass uh, mineral primer veil and this one has SPF 15 but I love this one and especially the packaging but it's just so expensive that I don't want to buy the full size but I do still have a lot just because I try to use it only on special occasions and I don't go out a lot so I'm gonna get into concealers and I use a lot of concealers um, I use concealers like every day and so I'm just gonna share with you guys two of my favorite concealers but my favorite would have to be the sh sharp <laughs> the Tarte um, shape tape concealer and I love this one a lot of people rave about this one also and I started using this at the end like the second half of the year in 2017 and I love this um, I don't know I use it every day under my eyes and in my t-zone um, and I just love it like the finish is so nice and this gives you like a full coverage concealer finish kind of thing like it can be used as a foundation because I don't know like it covers everything and it's just flawless and then I use that one in the color light medium honey I also have the I think tan one um, when I want to like use it to contour or when I'm a little bit darker I'll mix them too but the second concealer that I want to share is kind of like 
some people don't like it and I've seen it in like the worst products of the year and it would have to be the bamboo um, matte skin stick and this one is a concealer by the Fenty Beauty I used a lot of it and I basically use this like every day um, this is how much I have left and what it looks like um, I love this thing I think that it's not harsh like at the beginning it might not be like very smooth to glide on your face but when you start using it like it starts getting like I don't know like smooth and I don't find this rough on my face and I basically used it today um, to put all over my face as a foundation and I just love it it's very lightweight and the coverage is really nice also so I don't know it works for me and I love it I've been using this the entire year in 2017 so this is one of my favorite concealers so the next category that I'm gonna be talking about is gonna be foundation and I love I have two foundations that I'm gonna be talking about today but they're both from the drugstore which is surprising because I tried out like quite a few um, high-end foundations but they're not like my favorite um, so I don't want to share that but I'm gonna share like the products that I've been using for years and I just want to mention them the first one is gonna be the matte and poreless Maybelline fit me foundation and it looks like this and I don't know like it's my to go because it gives me a flawless like smooth looking skin and it's full coverage and it doesn't leave me with like flaky skin and stuff like that dry patches or anything like that and i just been loving this one the second one is the l'oreal true match um foundation and this has been like my holy grail foundation back in like what middle school not in middle school but like the high school or something i've been using this for a long time i'm in the color nude beige and this is w3 and i just love this foundation um it has spf in it I don't remember if this can be full coverage but I know that it builds up to a medium um, coverage so yeah so those are the two foundations that I love and been using in 2017 so now I'm gonna talk about powders and I only have two favorite powders and I need to try more powders but like uh, the two that I have I use them basically every day and this one is the first one is my like holy grail and it's the Laura Mercier powder and this one is just the small size um, I finished this one actually so I don't have anything inside um, I need to get a new one and the next time I'm gonna pick it up is gonna be the full size one I use this every day and I just love the finish of it on my face and then the second one is gonna be the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless um, powder and this is like you guys can tell that I have hit pan on this thing and I am in the color 220 and yeah I don't know I just love this thing when I'm like it's a to go I just use this with a brush and just do it really fast because the powder can the loose powders can be really messy so I just really like this pressed one so I'm gonna talk about my contour um, favorite contour products and I only have one and it can be debatable but I did do a review on this and I thought it was okay but I actually love it and I've been using it every single day um, in 2017 since I've gotten it so I guess I got this at the end of the year but um, I got this KKW Beauty Contour Palette in September I think for my birthday and I love it I got it in medium Alex actually got this for me and it looks like this I don't know if you guys can tell but I use this one a lot more than I thought I would and yeah I just love these two especially for highlights uh, so yeah I have to mention this entire palette is my favorite like these are the two favorite highlighter shades that I use basically every day um, unless I want to switch it up and then these two are my favorite I'm actually using it today not the highlighter but the um, contour and I just love it um, yeah so I definitely love this it's very pigmented and you just need a little bit and it goes a long way so I just love this palette definitely recommend you guys to try this out heard that the stick wasn't good but this is bomb so since we're on the subject of highlighters I'm gonna share with you guys some of my favorite um, highlighters in 2017 and I actually only have two um, because I mainly use um, the two shades in this palette but the first one that I have is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and I love this thing so much 
um i think that this is more for people who want a natural like highlighter and not like a like bam highlighter and then this is how it looks like on my hand um i rubbed it like right here so like i don't know if you guys can tell i would definitely recommend this this is very cheap this is under five dollars i think and then the next one that i used at the beginning of 2017 this is the tarte uh twinkle skin twinkle volume 2 lightning palette and i love this thing so much um this is how it looks like i don't know i don't know if you guys can tell but i used a lot of it this is so pigmented and i feel like this is like underrated because not a lot of people talk about it but i this thing was like my holy grail and look at this i used like this first color right here and it's so pigmented and i'm gonna swatch this on my hand looks like that like it's so good it's definitely worth the shot if you guys are looking for a good highlighting palette it's so pigmented and i love it and i love the smell that tarte has in their like cosmetics i'm gonna be talking about my favorite blushes and i have two one i discovered like towards the end of the year but i love it and i think that i'm gonna be using this like every day now and this is gonna be my um a tarte like blush wheel and this one i got for like um the this holiday edition one and this one is so pretty and i love it um i just love how it looks every single shades in here are beautiful and yeah so i just love it and it's so like easy to use because you know like when you're looking for a blush it's everything and I'm just like depending on my mood I can pick and I also love this highlighter right here it's called whimsical and it's perfect so yeah so you guys should definitely check this one out I've been using this every single day and I'm actually using today and then I use besides that one I used this one a lot in 2017 and it's the Maybelline fit me blush in 45 and it just looks like this in plum I think and it's just so pretty and I love this blush so much and i used it like every single day a lot in 2017 so i have one more face products to show share and it's like a finishing spray so it's gonna be the smashbox um primer water and this is like my favorite primer finish photo finish kind of thing and yeah i've been using this so much in 2017 i'm almost done with it so i have some of the urban decay ones that i want to share or use next so yeah so this is my favorite I only have one eyeshadow, like favorite eyeshadow that I used throughout 2017. This Tarlet and Bloom palette. And it's so pretty. I just love this Tarlet um, and Bloom palette. I don't have the original one, but I just like love this one. So I had to get it. The colors inside are so perfect. It's so pretty. And I this is like my to-go palette. So I definitely use every single shade in here when I want to use like a quick palette this has every single shade that i need so i would definitely recommend this palette if you guys are looking for like an easy to go palette has a lot of neutral colors in here and i just love this one so now i'm gonna move on with my favorite eyebrow um product the anastasia brow wiz in i think dark brown yeah in dark brown and i know this is like like hype and stuff but i have definitely been using this this is my to go like it's so quick and easy to use and to like draw out the shape of your um, brows. So I would definitely recommend trying this. Um, it is like I think $21 or something like that. But I just love this so much um, in 2017. So I definitely recommend this. This has to be my favorite like Maybelline mascara of all time. And it's the Colossal Big Shots. I love the like original Colossal. But I love this one also. Um, the last thing that I want to share with you guys. I don't use a lot of like eyeliner um, every day. But when I do use it. I have been using the NYX Gel Liner um, in 2017. And this thing looks so dirty. I didn't use it today. But um I used something else today, but I love this thing in 2017. I've been using that and I went back to this pot gel rather than a liquid one. So that's what I've been using in 2017. 
so that concludes my 2017 beauty favorites i hope you guys found this video somewhat helpful and enjoyed it but let me know if some of the products didn't work out for you or some of the things i mentioned you didn't like and let me know what did work for you and what are some of your favorites so yeah so i just want to end this video i hope you guys enjoy it and i'll see you guys next time bye